Welcome, fellow Middle-earth enthusiasts, to another riveting exploration of J.R.R. Tolkien's vast and intricate universe. Today, we embark on a journey into the shadows, uncovering the mysterious fate of the Ringwraiths after the climactic downfall of their dreaded leader, the Witch King. Together, we'll delve into the depths of Tolkien's imagination to reveal the untold fate of these spectral servants. As we witnessed in The Return of the King, the Witch King met his demise at the hands of Erwin and Merry. But what about the other Ringwraiths? To understand the fate of the Ringwraiths, we must first revisit their dark and twisted origins. Long before their spectral forms haunted the realms of men, these beings were once proud and noble kings, leaders among their people who, in a cruel twist of fate, succumbed to the lure of Sauron's deceit. These kings hailed from various corners of Middle-earth, each chosen for their strength, ambition, and desire for power. The Dark Lord Sauron cunningly exploited their lust for power. In their vulnerability, he offered them the keys to dominion, the means to reshape the world according to their whims. The temptation was embodied in the rings of power. As each king donned the ring bestowed upon him, a transformation began, a descent into darkness that would sever the ties to their humanity. Their noble intentions were warped into a thirst for dominion, and their identities blurred into shadows of their former selves. The rings became chains, binding them not only to Sauron's will, but also to an eternal existence as spectral beings, ringwraiths, the Nazgul. The transformation was not swift, but inexorable. As their kingdoms crumbled, their subjects perished, and their mortal forms withered away, the ringwraiths became slaves to the Dark Lord's designs. Their once illustrious pasts were replaced by a haunting existence, clad in black robes and bound to the will of Sauron. The ringwraiths became relentless hunters, driven by an unquenchable desire to retrieve the One Ring. Yet, beneath the hooded shroud of each wraith lingered a trace of the king they once were, an echo of lost majesty and an eternal yearning for what had been sacrificed in the pursuit of power. These origins explain how the fate of the Ringwraiths is tied to Sauron's dark magic and provide a strong clue to the answer to the question that is the topic of today's video. So, what happened to them after the destruction of the Ring? The Ringwraiths derived their power from Sauron and the One Ring, and with its destruction, their source of strength was severed. Did this mean they simply faded away into nothingness? Fans have crafted countless theories about the fate of the Ringwraiths, ranging from the idea of their redemption to the possibility of them becoming guardians of forgotten realms. Part of the beauty of Tolkien's universe lies in its ability to inspire such creative musings. Some speculate that after the Battle of the Black Gate, the remaining Ringwraiths faced a dilemma. With Sauron's defeat, their dark purpose crumbled. They say that in the absence of their master's guidance, they were left aimless and disoriented. Imagine for a moment the psychological turmoil of these once mighty kings. Stripped of their individuality, they were reduced to spectral forms, driven solely by the will of Sauron. With his fall, they were left without a purpose, wandering Middle-earth with no direction. Some say that there were whispers of their presence in the darkest corners of Middle-earth, they point to legends that tell of encounters with shadowy figures resembling the Ringwraiths in the years following the War of the Ring. Were the Nardskul still haunting the lands they once terrorized? Some fans posit that the Ringwraiths, freed from Sauron's control, may have sought redemption for their past sins. Could they have embarked on a quest for forgiveness, attempting to undo the damage wrought by their dark deeds? These fan theories may be compelling, but the canon fate of the Nazgul is that they perished along with their master, Sauron. So allow me to speculate on exactly how they passed from this world and how they may have felt during their final moments. In the ashen aftermath of the Battle of the Black Gate, the once mighty Ringwraiths found themselves standing on the precipice of oblivion. The acrid scent of sulphur hung heavy in the air as the dark clouds of Mordor dissipated into the cold winds of change that came out of the west. Sauron, their master, 
the puppeteer of their tortured existence, had fallen. The wraiths felt the first tremors of release shudder through their spectral forms. A surge of conflicting emotions echoed through their essence. Long ago, they had been kings, rulers of men, but that identity had been devoured by the insatiable hunger of the One Ring. In the shadowy remnants of their consciousness, the Ring Wraiths experienced liberation. Camul, the Easterling, his spectral form unraveling like tattered fabric, felt the weight of ages lift from his shoulders. The Black Captain, once an imposing figure leading the armies of darkness, now dissolving into the void. Dendra Dwar, the faceless enigma that had haunted the nightmares of those who dared to cross his path, felt a peculiar lightness. The identities they had lost flickered back, however briefly, like fading embers in the darkness. The realization dawned upon them. They were men once more, albeit ethereal and insubstantial. The echo of their former selves resonated within the recesses of their fading consciousness. Memories, long buried beneath layers of shadow, stirred like leaves in the wind. In that fleeting moment, they glimpsed fragments of the lives they had surrendered to Sauron's dominion. As the dark tower of barad crumbled, the collective wail of the ringwraiths echoed through the void. Not a cry of agony, but an otherworldly symphony of release. For the first time in an age, they felt the cool breeze of freedom whispering through the tattered remnants of their essence. Hormurath of Deer, once consumed by a thirst for power, now felt an unfamiliar sensation, a glimmer of relief. The ecstasy of freedom washed over him, and in that ephemeral bliss he allowed himself to hope for an end to his eternal torment. In the timeless expanse of the void, the ringwraiths, these spectral remnants of mortal men, experienced a final, fleeting emotion, joy. Joy at the release from the chains that had bound them to the will of darkness. Joy at the prospect of an unknown fate, free from the clutches of Sauron's dominion. And so, as the last vestiges of Mordor crumbled into dust, the spirits of the ringwraiths passed into the void. A chapter of darkness closed, and a spectral light, however faint, glimmered in their final moments. As we conclude our exploration into the fate of the ringwraiths, it's important to mention the lasting impact of these iconic characters on the fantasy genre. Their ominous presence, shrouded in darkness and despair, continues to inspire storytellers and captivate audiences to this day. Thank you, dear viewers, for joining me on this journey through the shadows of Middle-earth. I encourage you to share your thoughts and theories in the comments below, and until next time, may you find light even in the darkest parts of your journey. Farewell, fellow travellers.